Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project we will be creating this awesome lantern from items purchased from the Dollar Tree or items that were a dollar or less. I really wanted to go for an iron look and I am so shocked that I could accomplish this with Dollar Tree products. Please see the description box below for all the items I used in this project. This tutorial is going to be super detailed, but before we get started, I wanted to say thank you so much to my current and new subscribers to my channel. If you're a new visitor to my channel today and love DIY projects as much as I do, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when a new tutorial is ready to share with you. So now let's jump into the tutorial. We'll need two 8 inch square box style wall art pieces from the Dollar Tree, one pack of paint stir sticks, one pack of alphabet blocks, one small silver bowl, one of these silver napkin rings, one shower curtain ring, one two count package of chopping mats, one gift box, four of the long bamboo skewers out of this package and one pack of tumbler blocks. The first step is to take one of the wall art pieces and flip it over and then grab your paint sticks. We're going to be adding these paint sticks to the inside corners as braces for our lantern. Grab one of your paint sticks and apply E6000 and a dab of hot glue on the bottom. Press the stick firmly to the inside corner of the wall art and use a clip to hold it in place. These clips were purchased from the Dollar Tree as well. For the second stick, we want to apply the adhesive the same as the first and also along the edge as well. You'll want to repeat this for all four corners. Now we want to do a reinforcement of all the corner joints with E6000 and follow up with a little hot glue. While this is drying, we're going to start on the top of the lantern. Grab the second wall art frame and one of the silver bowls and set them to the side. We're going to take one half of our gift box and we will be applying it to the wall art for added height. Go ahead and apply some E6000 followed by a few dabs of hot glue to the edge and adhere it to the center of the wall art, pressing it firmly in place. Next, we're going to work on our bowl. The top edge of our bowl is kind of curvy, which causes small, tiny gaps. In order to remedy this, I'm going to sand down the curvy edges by working the bowl in a circular motion on a piece of sandpaper for a few minutes. Once the edges are as even as you like, we can go ahead and apply some E6000 and hot glue and apply it to the center of the gift box. Then we want to finish off the seal by neatly applying a bead of hot glue around the joint. Next we're going to grab our napkin and shower curtain rings. Take the shower curtain ring and snip off each side of the clasp with a wire cutter. 
Then we're going to adhere that shower curtain ring to the napkin ring. Once adhered, we're going to glue that napkin ring to the bottom of the silver bowl and seal the edges with a little hot glue. While that dries, we're going to take the lantern's body and flip it over. As an option, you can add feet and I will be adding the ABC blocks to the bottom of all four corners and one in the center. And here they are, glued in place. Next, we're going to add the skewers in a crisscross design. I went ahead and put the top of the lantern on to measure how long the skewer needs to be, and then I marked it on all the corners. We're going to cut and apply the skewers with E6000 and hot glue to all four sides of this lantern. And here are all the sides glued and held in place with the clips. Next, I'm going to measure the openings to decide what size to cut the chopping mats for our removable frosted window effect. I'm going to lay out my cutting mat and prepare my chopping mats to be cut. Go ahead and we want to go ahead and separate the two mats. And we're going to cut each one into two pieces, measuring about 7 inches by 11 inches. When finished with both mats, you'll end up with a total of four. Now we will work with our tumbling blocks. We want to take two blocks and hot glue them together. We'll need a total of eight sets. Grab your lantern base and then start to adhere two block sets along the edge of each side about an eighth of an inch from the wall art edge. And here's what it looks like all glued into place. Here, I was test fitting the mats before painting. So now what we want to do is we want to time, we want to prime. So now we're gonna apply one layer of primer just to cover the wall art. Once ready to go, we can go ahead and follow up with two coats of black flat spray paint. And here we are, the project is complete. The project turned out so nice. Even the areas where you hot glued and you can see the texture, it looks like iron welding, like you would see in a classic um, iron lantern. Then you can add your interchangeable frosted windows for a different look. It's like you get two projects in one. You could add your own personal touches. You could add candles and greenery for a cozy look. And the lid is removable, making adding decor a breeze. You can even add your seasonal decor and customize it for the holidays. And check this out. You can add a couple of Dollar Tree tap lights to the inside of the lid and you have an instant lamp. How cool is that? That soft glow is so relaxing and I absolutely love it. Listen, if you enjoyed and found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. 
Let me know in the comments what you would do with this lantern once you create it. I would love to hear your ideas. Thank you again for visiting and checking out my tutorial. If you like videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, go ahead and click that subscribe button and remember to hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. See you next time.